find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Netsan, I'm a filmmaker and photographer, and uh, today I uh, just wanted to show you something pretty quick. It's really late at night, we just finished this uh, DIY build of that LED light that you see behind me, and so uh, I just wanted to post this and show you that, and I will have a full video sort of uh, showing how to build that uh, pretty soon. And so, it's a uh, low-cost LED light that's pretty damn powerful and pretty insane for the price cost around 30 pounds um it's a pretty pretty simple build and it's controlled by this uh little light uh, this little um remote control and uh it's i've just built it using some uh plasterboard kind of stuff now with regards to brightness what i was using before was uh we had iso 800 one fiftieth of a second and F2. And uh, so I can bring my aperture up a little bit now so you can see this a bit better. Basically, it is uh, just these little LEDs and they just, you know, you get a big strip of them, you glue them onto here. They're pretty simple. They, they come sort of already with, with glue attached to them. And um, that's better. Okay, so um, th it's a pretty easy build connecting them you sort of cut them to the length you want and then you get these little extra uh, attachment bits that connect these two together you, I'll, I'll explain all that in the in the um full sort of diy video but it's pretty simple and the only bit that's a little more complicated is uh you need to uh, add these little uh, thingies here you know out here we soldered them i'm not even get, very good at soldering so uh, my friend stafford actually did this for me but um, you know, we pro I'll probably post a, a video explaining how to connect these without solder, uh, if possible, because I know a lot of you guys will not want to solder anything, but it should be pretty easy to do without soldering as well. And so, um, then, uh, you've got, I've built this, uh, it's 300 LEDs and that's, that's what you get for, th um, for 30 pounds ish, maybe a little bit more, uh, 300 LEDs, including a power supply and this little receiver unit, which is what communicates with this uh, remote control and it includes the remote control as well and, uh, and then these were uh, just a few pounds or something so total was around 30 35 pounds uh, if you buy this stuff from china and uh, okay so the remote control can do a ton of stuff uh, if i lower my iso again uh, so right now i'm just lighting up this background really nicely i've got it set to change colors and there's uh, a bunch of different things you could do with this you can get it to flash on and off, you can get it to flash between colors or you can get it to fade between colors. And um, and you can change the speed that it does that in. So here I'm getting it to flash. So you could do lots of really awesome effects with this. Uh, anything from like a club, like a nightclub or someone watching TV or whatever. You know, there's so many, so many cool uses for this. And uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, we've got presets here, which the unit remembers, which is awesome. And so uh, let's say I, I made this preset earlier, which is sort of a warmish white, and I can control it so I can uh, I can add blue, or I can uh, reduce the green so we get a purple, um, reduce the red. Eventually, it will go to blue. And uh, so yeah, you know, ton of stuff you could do with this. And, um, and you know, you could obviously have, you've got these uh, sort of pre-made presets, which are actually pretty nice colors too, uh, like this really lovely blue. And uh, so the uses for this are pretty much endless. So you could have it as a light, so that's just white. So uh, the white preset here isn't perfect. And uh, on my unit anyways, it might be slightly different because there's a few different sort of versions of, of these lights from various different eBay sellers. But uh, basically, you wouldn't really get necessarily 100% perfect by just pressing the white button. But if you go to a preset and sort of choose the white that you want. So here I've got a slightly bluish sort of light. Um, I can uh, reduce the blue a little bit, make it a bit a bit more of a warmer. Uh, or I can reduce the green. You know, you get the picture. So you can sort of control your, your light um, quite well and get it to uh, pretty much whatever you want. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you know, you've got uh, up here, you've got brightness control on off switch. And so there's a lot of things you could do with this. You could even do effects uh, potentially such as uh, gunshots uh, or flashes or lightning. 
which are things that aren't that easy to do with um, with with like a flash unit. And so it will, you know, you guys, I'm sure, will come up with a bunch of different ways of doing that kind of thing. And um, and the reason is that it doesn't cause flickering like certain other lights, and it doesn't cause flickering like a flash would. And by flickering, I mean, you know, these sort of lines that go across the screen. And so if you've seen like a wedding video, a lot of the time the photographer's flash go off, uh, goes off, and then you'll see like only part of the image becomes brighter. Um, so uh, yeah, basically this is absolutely awesome in my opinion. Um, once I get this into a good quality build, so like a really uh, a tough build quality that I know it's not going to break on me. And then once I've, I've got to use it uh, a bit more, I have uh, left it on for quite a long time to make sure that it's, um, you know, that, that these can handle the sort of heat and, and long, um, sort of long usage. And then, um, but that was without these little things here, but they seem to be taking the, they seem to be working perfectly as well. So basically, um, once I've got this built really well onto like um, some sort of, I want some sort of more protection for this to make sure it doesn't break if I use it on a, on a shoot. But basically this, I may just build more of these because I don't know of anything this awesome that you can actually buy. And I don't know why, because I built this a year ago and no company has built anything like this since I built this. And like I built this using DIY stuff, so a company could build, could make something really awesome from these kind of components. I don't know why they haven't yet, but basically, absolutely insane light looks amazing for lots of stuff and can look really great on people as well. So it can create quite a good quality light uh, for like your skin, uh, like skin tones and stuff like that. And um, so I'll post examples of that and compare it with. Uh, some other lights. I haven't done full comparisons myself yet with the sort of expensive, you know, professional units. But basically, it's freaking awesome. I, it's the best, if you want lighting and you're okay with DIY stuff, this is the best £30 you could spend. And um, with regards to mounting options regarding how to hold this, I haven't fully figured that out yet, but that's going to be pretty easy. I mean, a little bit of glue and a, a clamp or something could be pretty easy to get this to uh, connect nicely to a light stand or something. I'll post that uh, in the DIY tutorial. So, uh, all right, guys. Meanwhile, I will have a list of um, items to buy below because it's going to be, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory how to put this together. You get the, the LEDs, you stick them on, you connect the ends, and you're good to go. It's basically as simple as that. Uh, it's pretty much ready to go from the box, except you cut them to size to and then reconnect them again using these little thingies so i'll have the uh, uh, links to everything below and then i will post as soon as i've got some time i'll post i uh, post a full sort of um, tutorial about this uh, by the way that i've got uh, 300 leds there and uh, that's 10 meters of um, of this uh, stuff and uh, that creates something like uh, two foot by one foot so it's a bit less than one foot wide strip light so absolutely awesome. Uh, all right, guys, I hope you find this helpful. Hope you liked it as much as I do. Um, these might, you know, actually become my production lights once I've got these built a little bit better. So I absolutely love these, love them to death. So um, I'll post more info soon. Meanwhile, links below. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.